Um, at this time in our service, um, I'm going to invite the ushers forward. We are going to move into our um, offering, our regular offertory time. So when they come forward, I'll say a quick prayer for us, and uh, we will move into our time of giving. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings that come from you. We thank you for the blessings that come from being a Christian, a believer. And Lord, we would just ask that you would take these monies and these offerings that we so openly give with an open heart and multiply them, that they would not only help to enrich our own house of worship here, but that would these monies and these offerings would go to our community and help our local community, but that it wouldn't just end there, Lord, that these monies would be multiplied to reach all ends of the earth through the mission fields where people are serving in your name in other countries. Lord, we openly give to you that which belongs to you anyway. We give you all the praise. Confusions my companion and the spirit.
through that and as you go this week go knowing Genesis 127 
that you are made in his image, men and women. You are made in his image. So don't let your sexuality, God ordained as it is, define who you are. Let Jesus define who you are. God bless you. You're dismissed. It's July 16th. It's great to have you here this morning. If you're new to Lawrence First Nass or you not take an opportunity to connect with us somewhere in a chair back near you is a connection card and you can use that to let us know what your email address or phone number is if you want to share that with us uh, we share information via email and text messages and in various different ways uh, if you want to share a prayer request with us uh, your pastors pray for you uh, every week and you can share that information on a, on a connection card like this. So there's one in a, in a chair back near you this morning. So thank you, and we appreciate you taking time to connect with us. I want to share a, 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 a bit of information with you this morning. And so to do that, I need uh, Bree Winder, wherever Bree is this morning, and Diana Giffen to come up here. Yeah, there she is, sitting right in front of me. Yeah, good deal. And while they're making their way up here, uh, we picked up 17 campers from 5, 6, and 7 camp last week. Wow, what a great time they had. And Pastor Robbie was there with them even on his sabbatical. And uh, we've got a group of 10 with our youth group going to camp next week. So continue to pray for our campers and our leaders and... and uh, we just are excited about these camps that are going on in the, in, in the heat of the summer. Well, uh, Carolyn Bond was our administrative assistant for, I don't know, three decades plus, church secretary. And uh, when, when Carolyn retired, Diana stepped into a volunteer role to do that. She's done it for about the last five years. And so the bulletins and the prayer lists and things that happen behind the scenes uh, for you has been done in large part by her. Sometimes a, a pastor's wife gets pressed into service in areas that's really not uh, her gift mix, but this is in her gift mix. And, and uh, she uh, has been doing that as a volunteer and have been such a blessing to me. She's, uh, she's pretty special. And she's passing the torch to Bree. And beginning tomorrow, <laughs> yes, beginning tomorrow, Bree Winder will begin serving as a, a part time, 12 hours per week. It's not a lot, but we're making some progress in that regard uh, to be our administrative assistant in the office. For now, her office hours are going to be 9 to 12. Uh, she, like Diana, will be one of those people who are doing a whole lot more than is in her job description. So, Bree, you've been a part of our church family all your life, and we're excited to we're excited to have you serve with us in this capacity. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Great. Justin, Pastor Justin, come on up here, young man. Thank you, Pastor Bob. Um, most of you guys know that we had a um, 4th of July tent out here on the property, and uh, I think the final numbers are coming in, but we were pleased with uh, how that went. We also thank you if you shopped for your fireworks um, at our tent and supported our team group, and if you bought your fireworks somewhere else, you can leave now. Um, uh, but no, we do thank you. Um, but I want to invite somebody up real quick that I want to recognize. Howard Bourne, would you come up, please? Um, Howard did so much for our stand, and he has been working so hard. Um, in the spring, he got this thing going, and he was the point man and did so much that even myself didn't see. Um, he had to order them and and deal with things and get things organized, and he did a wonderful job at that. And so we just wanted to present him with a, a card and a little gift. 
um, to say thank you because he just put in so many hours. He was here all day, every day, stayed overnight, and um, he was exhausted at the end of that. And, um, and, and he's still doing things. He's still crunching numbers and making sure everything gets where it needs to go. And so let's give him one more round of applause. Um, next, I want to call Seth Bailey up. Seth is going to um, uh, talk to you just for a second briefly about um, online giving. A couple weeks ago, when uh, Justin was up here and was talking about the, the tithe.ly or the Tithely app, um, I downloaded the app, signed up, and tithe before he even finished talking about it. It is so easy to use that and to be able to do that. And I don't know about a lot of you, but I don't ever have cash or you know, my checkbook or anything like that on me, mostly because my wife won't let me have those kinds of things. <laughs> but it, it made it, it's just really, really easy. And once you've signed up, it takes about 10 to 12 seconds to, to do your tithe every, every week. So it's just really, really easy. Thank you, Seth, for that testimony.